Hello and welcome. This is my second Citroen C5X7 Tourer, and both the first C5 I had and this one both suffer from the same problem, and that is stinky air conditioning. Well, to be, to be clear, it's not the actual air conditioning, it's the aftermath. Let me describe it for you. So what happens is you turn on the air conditioning, everything's hunky-dory, you get nice fresh air from the vents, and as soon as you turn it off, this disgusting, musty smell begins to be pumped out by the car through the vents. Eventually it goes away, but it's very, very unpleasant, as my family keeps telling me. Now, I have tried to fix this. The solutions that I found, the one that was most common, at least to the best of my knowledge, are these aerosol cans, things you buy at you know, uh, uh, car part shops. And you know they look like spray cans, and the idea is you switch on the car, switch on the air conditioning, open the, the uh, aerosol can and it belches out chemicals for about half an hour and you wait outside the car for half an hour which is not pleasant because many of us don't have our own private driveways. We can't be in the garage otherwise the fumes from the car will probably render us unconscious and so we have to go to like a supermarket parking lot and try not to look like nutters as we pace around the car. Anyway, I tried this three times with my previous car, three times and none of them worked. Very annoying. I saw online an American video where the gentleman suggested use Lysol. Now, I'm not sure what Lysol is, but I think it's a disinfectant. And the idea is you spray this disinfectant in through the air intake, which in most cars is beneath the scuttle all around that area, and that will disinfect the air conditioning system. At this point, I should point out that the problem stems from... Whoa, coming in hot. Blooming me now. The problem stems from water that uh, accumulates around the air conditioning. It, it condenses and uh, bacteria proliferate in that environment. And that's what gives off the stink. Now, I don't know what kind of disinfectant Lysol is. It's a spray-on disinfectant. If you can recommend some, I would love to know. Uh, you know, the comments are there for that. Thank you very much. But anyway, I decided to go for another method. The first one didn't work, the second one seems to be unavailable, and I thought if it's an accumulation of water within the heating and ventilation system, maybe some dryness would be in order. If you crank up the heater to the maximum inside the car, then maybe that will dry out the water that's accumulated in the uh, air conditioning system. And then the bugs and beasties that live there won't have the environment they need to thrive. So that's what I've been up to actually. While we've been talking, I have the uh, heating onto the max. Can you see that? That says high, as in very high temperature. Let's put that in place, there you go and hence the weird camera angle, because I wanted to show you that. And it's been on all day today. We're in the middle of the afternoon. In the morning, sorry, I should say. And yesterday, so it's been on for a long time. And I have no idea if it works. We're going to find out together now, okay? So what I'm going to do now is... Oh, yeah, hang on a sec. I'm going to have to turn on the air conditioning. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the air conditioning and leave it functioning for... Uh, a few minutes and then I'll get back to you. Aircon, there we are. That's it. Not yet. I'm going to leave it on. Have some fresh air pumping in through the vents. I'm going to put it into my face. It's my leg and we get cold legs. Then I'm going to switch it off and I'm going to see if it works. So I'm going to see you in a few minutes. So it's a few minutes later. Nice fresh air. I'm going to turn off the air conditioning, we're going to see if it works. Oh, no, nope. my sense of smell is working. I'm going to give it a few seconds still. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to call it. I'm very surprised. There was a hint of mustiness just for a moment, but it worked. It works. It had to. Have, it has to have worked because 
before, as soon as I turn off the air conditioning, there would be this unmistakable smell, as if someone had just vomited in my face. And it's gone. It is gone. It's fresh. It's wonderful. It worked. Ha ha ha! No chemicals needed. This is brilliant. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, okay, so enough of my reaction. My God, I can't believe it. It worked. But now, hang on a sec. Now we've got a dilemma. Now today it's raining. Today it's a bit of a crap day. But yesterday it was pretty hot. So in this car, I was not feeling comfortable at all. In fact, I was getting a bit dehydrated, to be honest with you. Sorry. Got to merge into traffic. There we are. Thank you. And today it's the temperature's okay. It's 19 degrees, it's bearable. I was fine with the heating cranked up to the max. But in most situations where this will happen, you won't be nice and comfortable because you need air conditioning mostly for when it's hot outside. You don't want to feel fresh and cool and comfortable. And the solution is to roast yourself alive in your own car. It's not a good solution at all. So, dear viewer, it's up to you now. If you like, you can use the solution, but don't say I recommended it because I don't recommend it. I don't want you, you blaming me when you're pulled out of your car in a state of complete dehydration and said, that bastard from Comfortable Car Club told me to do this. No, do this at your own risk. It works. I can attest it works. Let me be very clear, it bloody works. But uh, yeah, at a cost. So yeah, <laughs> that's my conclusion. Here is a method of fixing the stinky smell that comes from using air conditioning without using chemicals and sprays and whatnot, but in such a fashion that you're probably gonna want to use the sprays and chemicals and whatnot. Oh well, there you go. That's some quality content right there. So, thanks very much for watching. By the way, if you like this t-shirt, you can buy one and others like it at comfortablecar.club. You can also get some C5 X7 specific 3D printable models uh, from CG Trader. The link is below the uh, video in the description. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you very much for watching. I bid you farewell.